Hey everyone, Andy here. This is going to be the start to my Outlast 100% speedrun tutorial. The objective of this category is to get all 62 notes, which is 31 documents, 31 recordings. And so let's go. First thing you're going to record is this uh, big asylum as you approach it. You can tell you get the recording when you see a camera icon in the bottom right. Conversely, you can tell when you pick up a document. If it's not obvious enough, it also gives you a little icon flashing in the bottom right. The uh, routing for this category is kind of unique. Nice jump. There are a few areas where it's similar to, say, No Out of Bounds or something. Or all chapters. So this is the route we're taking for now. Next thing we're on our uh, list is a document that's going to be right up ahead in one of these next rooms. And in this room on your left, grab it. Next we're going to do a door boost. Simple stuff. Now this wall, as you walk through it, will tend to kind of push you out to the side, as you can kind of see there. So I walk diagonally like this. And be careful getting around this, uh, I don't know, this vent here. And after that you're going to make your way and drop out this side. Now there's collision all through here, except, like, right at that line. You can fall out of the level, or uh, rather the level deloads. So you want to get close to this corner with your camera out, peek around the corner using lean, and zoom in. And what this is doing is it's recording the room with the guys and the TV in it. As you can see, the note here is, a uh, Broken Men Dead Television. You got it. Put the camera away. Side hop to the left. And as soon as you side hop, you're going to pause to let the level load in. And now you're in this, like, little library, er library area with the jump scare over there. And, uh, right here, apparently. Run around here to this guy. Get him to smile for the camera. He's going to tell you a cool little story, and you can leave as soon as you get the camera icon in the bottom right. Same as last time. There we go. So now we're doing another door boost. This one's kind of tricky for me. And it's, uh, I don't know, kind of aggravating because this guy is yelling the entire time you're trying to do it. So anyways, you do the door boost, and this one's a little different since you have to to uh, boost all the way up because of the ceiling, I guess, you have to hold crouch and move forward and you'll notice you pop up a bit right there. After that you can let go of crouch and side hop to the left. You want to land on this bookshelf. From here you move up to the left, kind of following like the shape of the bookshelf, until your screen turns black. After a moment you will pause the game to let the level load in. And this is so you'll take fall damage about halfway down the fall, because if you were to fall all the way to this ground floor here, you would die. And looky there, there happens to be another document. So now we're going to come around here, grab another document from the main desk. Now we get our cameras ready for the bathroom. Open the uh, middle stall and record the text on the wall that says, Witness. Here we have the document. Grab that bad boy. Come over here. Do another door boost here, and for this one I have a little visual cue I like to use. We're getting into this room, which is where the, uh, I don't know what's in there, it's like a computer. Anyways, you come over to about this pillar, which you see right there, and I look at the radiator, and I side hop to the right, and we're in. If you try to like look straight in here as you jump, sometimes you'll get stuck between the walls, and so that's the thing that I found that works best for me. Clickety clack away on this security stuff, and our good friend will turn off the power for us shortly. We're back. As soon as you spawn, hop in this locker and whip out your camcorder again. You have to record Chris Walker, and for some reason you can only do it from the locker. He's gonna bust the door down, as he often does. Once you see the icon, you're good to go. Just sprint past him. 
Plus inside he won't attack you. Or won't hit you, rather. He's out with blood for sure. Get this document on the right after you shimmy through here. And then this energy area is, or where you turn all the power back on is pretty similar to um, most other categories. At this point in time, you actually have all the documents and notes and stuff that you need for this first chapter, but I'm going to finish it up anyways. As you can see, it's just more of the same stuff. Nothing exclusive to 100% in this area except for that document. All I have to do is make it back and hit the keyboard to trigger the cutscene. Because glitches are allowed in this, you can do the thing where you quit out, save and quit. But before that, I'm going to count all my documents to make sure I have them. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 notes, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 documents. So that's a total of 11. So that means we're there. That concludes this uh, first section. I will see you guys in the next section, which is prison, which should be a lot more interesting because there's some pretty tricky stuff there. Anyways, see you then. Have a good one.